So let me tell you a few yes stories and then a, a no story. Uh, the first yes story, uh, this, this tractor changed my life. And, and I don't mean that facetiously. This tractor and many others like this changed my life. My father uh, was born outside of West Plains, Missouri, a little small town southwest Missouri. He was born in a town called Bakersfield, uh, graduated high school with a high school total population of about 40 students. And then he went off and served in World War II in the U.S. Navy. And following World War II, uh, he returned back to the farm that he was born and raised on there in Bakersfield. And he had to make a decision. Did he want to spend the rest of his life working on this farm? Or did he want to do something else? And there was an ad in the local Springfield, Missouri newspaper for Caterpillar tractors looking for diesel mechanics. So if you know anything about Caterpillar, their, their tagline is cat diesel power. Uh, and, and so they had this ad in the Springfield, Missouri newspaper. My dad drove over from West Plains to Springfield. They offered him a job, and he said yes. Sight unseen, had never been to Peoria, which was a good thing. Because had he been to Peoria, he, he might have changed his mind. That never, never, have gone, never have gone to Peoria. But I say this tractor changed my life because when my dad said yes to that job offer, he didn't know what that was setting in motion. He wasn't thinking, you know, his kids and then his grandkids and, and, and all of the relationships, the houses they would live in, the neighbors that they would have. This tractor changed my life. The second yes that impacted and has impacted literally every day of my life for about 27 years is when I proposed to then my fiance or girlfriend named Tanya and ask her if she'd be crazy enough, just, you know, if, if, you know, if she could kind of ignore all of my idiosyncrasies and weirdness, and, and if she could just find it in her heart, you know, to be kind and compassionate and, and say yes to being my wife. And she did. And that yes, and this is no exaggeration, that yes has played a part in every day of my life since then. Changed my life. In 2001, we were leaving the denomination that we had grown up in. We were third and fourth generation rooted in this denomination. And we felt like God was calling us out of that experience into a more modern, contemporary experience to reach people who were far from Jesus. And so we began looking at opportunities. And, and I'll never forget uh, going just outside of Chicago, one of the suburbs, and I was interviewing for a senior pastor job of a church about the size of, of Mountain View. It had a Christian school. And, and did I mention it was, it was near Chicago? So I grew up in Peoria, and growing up in Peoria, you know, there's really, if you're going to move somewhere in Illinois, it's Chicago. You know, you, you go north, you go up to Chicago, you go, you know, to the suburbs, to the loop, you go out in that area. And so one of the things I'd always felt in my life was that I was going to live and serve and work somewhere around Chicago. And so here it is, 2001, and I get invited to candidate for this position. And we go, and we spend three days. And it was about two and a half, three hours from Peoria, which I, I say that because it was close to Peoria, but not, not too close. Okay, so, so I, I could be close to family, but not like right next door. And, and there was a couple of other things that I was really attracted to. I'll be, I'll be very honest. There was Chicago deep dish pizza. You know, I, I mean, that, that, that right there is a calling from God. You know, I, I mean, that is... And then there was the Chicago Cubs. So if you know anything about me, I'm a, I'm a lifelong Cub fan. And so, you know, we go and candidate at this church. We spend half a week there, you know, meeting their elders and their staff and, and others. And we fly back to, we were living at that time in the Bay Area. And I'll never forget, about a week later, getting a, a phone call. And it was the chairman of the elders. And as soon as he, you know, introduced himself, I knew who he was and... And you can kind of, if you've ever gotten these phone calls, you know, you can sense pretty quick, you know, what's in the person's voice, where they start, if they're nervous. And he said, Kim, I, I, I really hate to tell you this. And right then I knew. It was a no. It wasn't a yes. You know, I was going to have to eat 
you know, watch the Cubs on television. They're going to have to find other pizza. You know, it, it, was a, it was a no. Now, I think about that. And I think about how every yes has consequences. It sets off ripples. Every no sets off consequences. And, and I think back on that. I thought back on that quite often over the last 16 years. About what if that had been different? What if they had said yes and I had accepted and and found myself living in Chicago? How would my life be different today? Where would I be living today? What would I have not done the last 16 years that I've done the last 16 years? And so I look back now and I see God's hand. I see his involvement and I I see how God was orchestrating. But at the time, I'll be very honest, it stunk. We all have yes, no stories. We all have yes, no stories in our life where you can look back now, you know, with kind of the passing of time, with experience, with perspective, and you can look back and say, boy, I am, I am so glad I said yes to that. Could have been an invitation, could have been an offer, or you can look back and you can say, I really wish I wouldn't have said yes to that. I, I don't know what, what I was thinking at the time. Or you can see a no in your past that at the time really hurt. And now you look back and you're thankful. What we're going to talk about throughout this whole series, uh, but especially this morning, is what I call a basic premise. And it's this. And that is this idea that a growing, vibrant spiritual life is one that says yes to God more often than it says No to God. If you could just kind of let that sink in, kind of let this become a a way of life, it will change your life. It's really simple. I mean, it's not easy to do. But it's really simple. That that if you want to have a life that grows closer to God, if you want to have a a, a life that, that is used more often and more effectively by God, if you want to have a life that feels more in tune with God, It simply means you say yes to God more than you tell him no. Pretty simple, but easier said than done. 